good afternoon friends this is going to be the last video for this syllabus so through this video we will be discussing some leftover areas of the FIP module the leftover areas primarily include different aspects of marketing management to be very specific it contains marketing management functions product policies distribution channels, intermediaries and to some extent we need to also speak about promotion. So these are coming under the leftover areas of the last module of the syllabus. Let's first of all speak something about marketing management functions. As usual, as a manager, your prime function sir again comes planning, organizing, controlling and directing similarly when you become the marketing manager you need to also plan plan means you need to set an objective and make a strategy to achieve that objective so under the context of marketing you need to set some marketing objectives that means you need to set the targets for your subordinates in the fields of sales so this is coming under objectives again comes the question how to achieve the objectives now to achieve these marketing objectives you need a marketing strategy and marketing strategy basically includes three things s t p s means segmentation t means targeting p means positioning that means you need to select some segment because you cannot you, you cannot satisfy the needs of all the customers of the market you need to first of all segment or you have to divide the mass market into small small segments then you need to pick up some segments or you need to target that you need to target certain segment as per their needs of that segment you need to develop your four fees that is about product price place and promotion so this comes under the marketing plans so that is also an important function of a marketing manager so after that you need to organize your people so as to so as to move towards the accomplishment of organizational or marketing objectives next what you need to do is you need to set a budget because everything has to be completed within certain stipulated amount of money so that is what we mean by marketing budget so these are the prime functions coming under marketing management next thing is your syllabus also contains huh, product policies because as i as i was discussing as a marketing manager you need to develop marketing mix under the marketing mix you have got four fees product price place and promotion again comes the question what should be your product what should be its composition what should be its packaging what should be the color so everything needs to be properly defined so that is that thought those things will be reflected in a policy that is what we call as product policy after you have got your product you need to also speak about the price that means when you are setting the price of your product you need to use various types of pricing strategies it can be scheming it can be schemed price it can be penetration pricing so as for the situations you need to set your pricing and at the same time you need to also speak about certain discounts so that is also coming under pricing then the third fee is about place place means distribution channels means you have got two centers first center is the center of production second center is the center of consumption through distribution channels your product can reach from the center of production to the center of consumption so here basically we have got many alternatives so first alternative is there is no intermediary means the producer can directly go to the consumer second case is producer can keep his products in a retailer and from the retailer things can go to the consumer and the third case is from the producer things will go to the 
wholesaler from the wholesaler things will go to the retailer and finally from the retailer things will go to the consumer in the final case from the producer or from the manufacturer things will go to its agent from its agent things it will go to the wholesaler then retailer then the consumer so these are different types of distribution channels available but as a distribution manager you need to select their channel which can give you more volume of business and at the same time maximum satisfaction to the customer so this is what we mean by management of distribution or managing distribution channels then final p is the promotion that means it needs some sort of advertisement it needs some sort of uh, what i say pr it needs some sort of uh, what i say uh, personal selling so these comes under so called promotion because through promotion you can create some desire in the minds of the customers about your product and basically it has got two to three objectives first objective is you need to inform your customers about your product so that is also the objective of so called promotion second thing is you need to also persuade persuade the consumers to buy your product and the third thing is you need to remind the customers ki these out or these benefits are with our product so these are the objectives coming under market or the promotion functions of marketing manager so so these things are basically coming under the leftover areas of your fifth module and the final one and the final one is also containing is is your human resource information system so that means it that means when you become the hr manager you need to develop some information system information system containing the qualification the experience and the skills of your human resources so as to take some hr related decisions effectively and efficiently so anyway these were some of the uh, concepts or some of the major aspects coming under the leftover areas of the fifth module if you have got some elements of doubt you can ring me you can chat me choice is yours so ultimately i must say have a good day